Come with me to explore Notion's new knowledge worker agent. Okay, so here you can see the little bot. If I close this chat again, you can see he pops up or it pops up over here. I can click on it. Here I have the option to personalize it. At this point, you can see I've changed the name to my company name that I always use. I can change the characterization of it which is pretty cute. And then I have set up instructions. I'm not going to do that yet because I'd like to first see what it, how it works without that. Okay. So let's use the use case. Write me an instruction email to a very, a new community member. Very vague, but let's see what it does. Okay. Woman personal. It's written it up here. Crisp and to the point and it's summarized it here. It also tells me what it did and I can summarize that. So this is a nice way of auditing its behavior and seeing exactly what it's done. So what if I say, add this into my Notion page, please, as option one. Let's see what it does. Great. Now you can see it is also referencing this page, but I'm going to just remove and you can see it updates here. So now it's actually referencing this page, which is pretty cool. You can also see. You can change the sources. Currently, web search is on. It's integrating with any apps that's connected. So it can read my Slack space. It can read my Google space, any space that I have connected, as well as my entire workspace. As well as a Notion help center. So if you need help with actually building something in Notion, it knows how to do that. Okay. So that's quite interesting, but I'm very curious to know what will happen if we do this with my personal brand. Okay. So I'm going to start a new chat over so here. Let's add some setup instructions. We're going to use an existing page and I've got a brand blueprint, which is like a 200 page document where it has examples of my writing and my exact brand specifications down to a T. Okay. So let's have a look. So now you can see that my agent has these instructions. And it can reference this page. Okay, I'm going to say, please rewrite this email according to your updated instructions page and follow my brand instructions. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it actually rewrote it, which is what it should do. But actually, I don't want it to do that because I actually need to remember this old version because I wanted to compare them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually tell it, oops, I made a mistake. I want to compare these versions. So please give me both versions with one being the old and two being the new. Let's see what it can do. Updating my page content for me, putting back the old one and putting the second one here. It looks a little bit different to be honest. So typical AI in that sense, but you can see that there's a lot more personality. There's an understanding of my brand, Scrappy Entrepreneurship, which is great. And radical candor, zero jargon, kindness. These are all things that they can expect. It can actually communicate more things with them. Now, this is obviously a poor prompt with very, very little that I actually gave it, but I could then ask AI to iterate on specific things within the page and then to maybe even build me a communication strategy beyond this. Maybe I'll get into that. Wasn't expecting to, but I'm going to show it quickly. Okay. So now I'm being a little bit lazy and I'm going to see what it can do and say, okay, so what if it would look like if I built an entire onboarding journey to follow up from this message? create all the copy for me and I've specifically told it like where to put it so that it doesn't do it here again and actually puts it into my doc. It's got an onboarding journey for me. Day zero, a sign up confirmation guided welcome with a checklist, help them introduce themselves. First micro win, brilliant. Event orientation input, a playbook drop for their specific stage. Community led marketing prop. This is extra, but I love it so much and then it's created a copy inventory with everything that I need this is amazing okay now I'm going to be a little bit extra and push it let's try something else okay so let's push it and tell it to create me a database and all of my copy 
Okay. It's let's see what it does. And specifically then add in a row on what I need to do to get this to the next level. Cause I'm quite tired today. I don't want to write all this copy. Let's see what it does. Brewing. Apparently this. So it tells me what it's done. Added each piece with review needed field describing what I should check. Here it says a database that created a view by copy, by stage, by needs review, drafted all the items, including the emails, the loom script, the surveys, the call to actions, and the snippet template. For each row, it created a channel and filled that in. What it needs from me, drop the real links to the welcome thread, community guides, events, and playbooks. Into I could even just drop it in here if I had those. Let's go have a look. So you can see this is a total of 21 copy pieces. We have them all by stage. Yeah. It's just pretty amazing. It's resigned them all to me. It tells me what version it is. It can say what needs review. And I can go into the review piece here. Not super impressive. in terms of copy. So I would probably go ask it to rewrite all of the copy in this database. Please re-look at it and rewrite all copy to be more substantial. Um, and then here I can just make sure that it has my brand blueprint. So I can like extra reference my brand blueprint here and see what it does. Okay, it is rewriting everything you can see more substantially. Which is amazing. Hopefully it updates the version number. I would be very interested to see if it does that. So I told that it didn't update the version and let's see. It's updating all of them in front of my eyes. I literally normally would have had to click on every single one of them and update them. But this is 100% fixed, like taken so much of my work away. This is a really decent email, very great first versions to work with, honestly. Considering I would have had to probably prompt ChatGPT and other things many, many, many times in order to get to this. And considering I've given it no real context, if I give it actual context, this would be bomb. Um, right there in the past 15-ish minutes, I've been able to write an entire onboarding program with communications and onboarding journey with Notion AI. Before that would have taken me a day. Okay? 